Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a daily makeup routine. I don't really wear makeup every single day, but this is typically what I do whenever I want to look pretty or look decent at least for school or if I'm going somewhere. So this is what I typically do. I need my mirror here. First, all I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to um, prep my skin with some moisturizer. This is the Philosophy Back to Nurture Replenishment Moisturizer. I love this stuff. This stuff is so, so good. I'm just going to take this stippling brush from e.l.f. and then just massage it into my skin. Now I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to do my eyebrows. And the brow pencil I'm going to use is the ColourPop Brow Pencil and this is in Banging Brunette. I like this eye pencil because it has the spoolie on one side and it's just so convenient to like put the product in and then just brush it in. So, And plus the pencil is really really tiny so it just makes it look, strokes look like hair. I really really like that. I haven't used this in a while because I've been really liking the e.l.f. brow pencil. To not like get mistakes. This pencil, um, this pencil I find myself like not making as many mistakes as I normally would. That way I don't really like have to like clean up all that much which is good for me because it saves time and I really don't like to spend a lot of time getting ready in the morning I just don't like it I'd rather just sleep in so this brow always looks like crap compared to my right one okay so I'm gonna show you what I do to clean up my eyebrows I just take a q-tip with a pointed end and then I just take some micellar water. This is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. I just take it on the pointed side and just go around just to straighten things up. And so next for my brows, I'll take my I'll take my favorite powder, Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit, and I'll take it on in it angled brush and just go into the darkest shade right here and just fill them in again just in case I missed any spots. I also like to set the gel or the pencil with the powder and then I'll take the lightest one, not that it really ever makes a difference, and put it on the beginning of my brows. Okay, now I'm going to take some e.l.f. mascara and brow gel and just put them on my brows I really like this stuff it's only two bucks and I get two products in one so it lasts me pretty long actually so next I'm going to put some primer on my eyes and, and as usual I'll use my Urban Decay primer potion and I'm gonna take this BH Cosmetics um, Shanix so eyeshadow palette I'm gonna go into this first color right here. I'm just gonna put this over my lid just to set that eyeshadow primer. And now I'm gonna go into this like orangey color right here. Put this in my crease. I'm just gonna take this Morphe blending brush and just blend that shade I just put in. And because I want a little bit more definition, I'm going to take this uh, terracotta shade right here and put this in my crease. Now I'm just going to take that and blend it out with the Morphe brush. Alright, so now I'm going to do some eyeliner. And my absolute favorite thing to do is to take a black eyeliner, and this is the Smashbox Always On Gel Eyeliner. And I'll take this and put this the top waterline. That, and then I'll take a brown liner. This is the Ulta Automatic Eyeliner in Deep Brown. I'll just fill in my bottom waterline. 
like doing that because I feel like the black eyeliner on top makes my, my lashes look longer and like just thicker and then putting the brown on the bottom just doesn't make my like eyes look so like dark and like closed and smaller because I already have small eyes so I wouldn't want my eyes to look smaller. I feel like the brown um, like counteracts that and doesn't make my eyes look so tiny. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to curl my lashes. Then I'm going to take a Tarte Light Camera Lashes, one of my all-time favorite mascaras. I love this stuff. It just makes your lashes look so, so long and like pretty and natural. They're just, it's just a really nice mascara. So next I'm going to be putting on concealer. When I do like an everyday like makeup routine, I don't really like using foundation I don't know it just gets too heavy for me like for just regular like use or whatever um, so I just put on concealer just which I'm going to use my Maybelline fit me concealer I'm just going to spot correct all over my face to cover any blemishes I like using Maybelline fit me because I feel like it, this shade that I have matches my skin tone better and then for under my eyes and wet and wild photo focus um, concealer. I'll just put this underneath my eyes in a little tiny V. On my nose, just a little bit. On my chin. And then on my forehead. At the same time, I'm going to take some of this Wet n Wild um, contour stick and just put this a little here. and then a couple dots on my forehead. I do a little on my chin too. And then I blend those out. I don't like to contour too much, but I do like to have some type of color. I'm going to blend the concealer out that's on my face. Okay, so now I'm going to take my MAC Select Sheer Rust powder. I'm going to take this on a big fluffy angled brush and use this to set underneath my eyes. This has really been something that I've been liking to set my under eyes. Like if I'm doing like a, like if I'm not doing a lot of like makeup, um, I'll use this to set my under eyes and then my whole face. Cause I don't know, I don't know what it is. I really like having my whole face be like one color besides like the contour I just put on um, I don't know it just looks more like natural to me I'm gonna take some of what's left on the brush that I used and put that under my eyes just a little bit whatever is left on the brush don't need to go into anything more and then I'm gonna take some Maybelline great lash put this on my bottom lashes Okay, so last but not least, I'm going to take this Steve Laurent lip gloss and just coat my lips. This stuff smells like vanilla. It smells so good. I normally don't even wear lip gloss, but for the sake of this video, I put lip gloss on. Normally, I'll just put on like chapstick or something. Put some um, setting spray on. This is the Clean Color Pro Sealer Makeup Setting Spray, and this is the matte finished because I pretty much like looking matte whenever I do like everyday makeup. So this is my finished everyday makeup routine. Like I said, it's really not that much. I really don't like to wear that much makeup. I don't wear makeup every day, so when I do, I kind of like to uh, kind of like to wear some and look really decent. Puppy is gonna start whining because my mom just walked upstairs. So if you hear any whining in the background, that's her. This is my everyday makeup routine. This is like this is fun. I actually had fun editing my last video. Hope you guys watched it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for another video. I'm so excited. I can't wait. If you'd like to see any specific videos, just shoot me some ideas down below in the comment section. Be sure to follow my social media. I'll just leave that down in the description box so you can go and follow those. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.